you go, Doctor Who. And if you don't, then you can go. Right, hello guys, you're watching Go Doctor Who, and today we're going to do a review of Time Lord Victorious. Yes, just read the comic, and lovely, had to pick this cover out of all of them. And in the back, we've got all the information of when all these events take place. Um, this is a spoiler review, so let's get on to it. It's a big one as well. It's about 50 pages. Uh, it is uh, 5.99 as well, which is well worth it, I think. Um, so we've got here the Doctor. Basically, he's forgotten stuff which he's trying to remember, the TARDIS databanks have gone missing, and the Daleks can't remember the Time War. And, speaking of the Daleks, they keep bombarding and bombarding him. The Doctor's trying to escape the Daleks, and they keep coming after him. Going, Doctor, 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 until eventually he gives in and goes to the Emperor. <clears throat> I just want to point out that this is a massive deal for Titan Comics. They could ne they didn't have the rights to do the Daleks before. So this is the very, very first time we've ever got the Daleks in Titan Comics. Fully. And this is amazing. I just, I'm just i glad Titan Comics have finally took the opportunity. And um, yeah, I just want to say the cool designs that we've got there. The Emperor's pretty cool. And the TARDIS looks beautiful. Even if it's set fire and can't remember its data banks. And the Doctor can't remember where he was. Um, the vo very interesting outlines of the Doctor trying to escape to different places and we get, get cool shots there. Um, then we're on the Dalek ship and there's a lot, a lot of ta talking. It's like, ba 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 bum with constant ba babble of the 10th Doctor and it's a bit like, it feels a bit like Jodie Whittaker's Doctor when she's exp explaining something. Definitely Series 11 Jodie Whittaker as well. Yeah, I can't help but think that, you know, with the Doctor going... On and on and on, but I suppose when you're having a conversation with a Dalek, you have to do all the work because all they want to say is exterminate, which the Doctor takes the mick out of and keeps going on about. So you can kind of say, right, yeah, it's kind of like Jodie constantly, the Doctor's talking, but it is a sing alone, no companion. It's just the Doctor there, so you can kind of give it that as well. Um, the Emperor and the Tenth Doctor have some beef and talking, and then the Emperor explains that they've got a bigger threat than the Doctor, and they don't remember the Time War. And um, these bigger threats are intriguing, and basically the difference is the Daleks want to exterminate everything but Daleks. Their villain wants to exterminate everything, even Daleks, and themselves. They want to eradicate everything. Just like Davros, but actually destroying the Daleks as well at the same time, sort of thing. You know, from Series 4. So, um, yeah, interesting. It's been kind of done before, but, um, yeah, the Tenth Doctor's gone around looking at Scaro. The Tenth Doctor's on Scaro. I love that. And the beautiful illustrations there. Um, yeah. And then we get references here and there to certain stuff. And then we have this Dalek, uh, stratagem that's actually helping the Doctor as the, the guide through this, um, this vault full of the deadliest Dalek weapons. That they were hiding from him at the start, but then they decided to trust him. This Dalek's all rusted and battered from its scars. It likes to show off its pride and honour. Even this Dalek was made before the Emperor. So that was very interesting. Um, the Doctor exploring the vaults and taking jokes and ongoing talking and talking babble. They set off a trap and the Dalek and the Doctor do this run around like a Indiana Jones scene. And then we have... The ending with our main bad guys, the Daleks want help the Doctor to defeat. Uh, and they're threatening and they're gooey and yeah. Um, interesting. We may have actually met these creatures before with a Titan comic. Uh, because these creatures look very much like, basically, Titan Comics did a free uh, Titan comic day. And they did one with the 10th Doctor and Gabriella. And this monster, gooey monster, come out of the Doctor's suit uh, in one of the three comics. So that may have been linked in a way, because they do look definitely the same monster. But you guys wouldn't know that if you were, if you've got the free comic, or if you're a comic book fan, you'd probably know it as well. Maybe you spotted it. But yeah, very interesting. These creatures are even uh, make the Dal Daleks scared. Uh, and issue two is out soon. I've pre-ordered issue two, and I will be reviewing that as well. And I am going to be reviewing DWM, the comics of the Ninth Doctor and Rose, it, uh, during the Time Lord Victorious. So, 
there's a lot more Time Lord Victorious to come on Godot 2. So you might as well subscribe because we're trying to get to the channel goal of 300 before the end of the year. We are 40 away. Can you help us? Even share the video. Give this video a like because it helps the algorithm. It would do a massive deal to me and thank you so much. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. I'm going to rank this book out of 10. Well, comic. Uh, out of 10... I'm a bit less, I, I expected more to be fair, but it was just the Temp Doctor talking to Daleks and running around and yeah, I'm going to give this story a generous 8, so I want to give it a 7.5, but you know what, the artwork is incredible, I'm going to bump it up to an 8, so it gets an 8 out of 10 from me, let me know your score down below and I will be reviewing the second issue and the Ninth Doctor and DWM, but if you're not a fan of the Time War, the Time Lord Victorious, don't worry because I, I'm doing Torchwood Marathon at the moment. I've just reviewed Series 1 of Torchwood. I'm reviewing Series 2 this week coming and I'm reviewing Series 3 and 4 and there's plenty of Doctor Who stuff as well on my channel so you might as well subscribe and I'll see you guys for another video very soon. Hope you enjoyed my review and hope you enjoyed the comic and I'll see you guys every Saturday at 12 o'clock. Have a nice day. He burns at the centre of time and he can see the turn of the universe. Hello. Okay. Mm. New teeth. That's weird.